Atson's test, subclavian artery test. With the patient sitting, the examiner palpates the patient's radio pulse while subducting and extending the patient's arm. The patient is asked to look towards the side being tested and to take a deep breath. In Holstead maneuver, vertebral artery test. Test for the integrity of the vertebral arteries. With the patient supine, the patient is assisted to extend the cervical spine to end of range. Following this, the upper cervical joints are taken into side bending and rotation to the same side. This position is held for a straight leg raise test, La six sign. The hip is flexed up to 90 degrees if tolerated. A positive test may indicate sciatic or lumbosacral nerve root irritation, for example, piriformis sideline test. Test for the presence of piriformis syndrome. With the patient sideline, the examiner guides the flexed upper leg into adduction and internal. Test for hip flexion contracture. Thomas test. With the patient supine, the examiner observes the lumbar lordosis, then flexes one of the patient's hips and knee fully to obliterate the lumbar lordosis. Medial meniscus test. McMurray's test. The examiner flexes the patient's knee fully, then externally rotates the tibia on the femur and exerts a valgus force to the knee. Jergason test. Biceps tendon stability test. The patient is asked to push upwards to flex the elbow as the shoulder is taken into external rotation. Finkelstein's test. De Guervain's tenosynovitis test. The examiner asks the patient to make a fist with their thumb inside. The examiner then takes the wrist into ulnar deviation. The test is positive. 